Alright guys, Coach Ben here. Today I'm going to show you how to break in a single ply bench shirt. I'm going to go through how I broke down this shirt in about only one session. Uh, this was my first session in single ply since probably about six years ago. In 2014 was the last time that I was in a single ply bench shirt, an Inza Rage X. So I'm going to show you the process right now in which I took this shirt all the way down to potentially being able to touch um, from being close grip on the bar. So for this video I'm wearing a single ply super katana. I opened up the back that allows you to adjust the shirt more easily. And you see here, important thing to keep in mind, when you get a fresh new shirt, you're not going to be able to get the grip you'd like. Normally I'd be index on the ring. Here I'm struggling to get pinkies on the ring. So I'm in a much closer grip and this is something you're going to have to get accustomed to when breaking in a tight shirt. You can see this bar is not going to move very far and this is 500 something pounds in my hands, total weight. You can see I meant to do some reps but just did a single there. I'm spraying up the shirt each set that's a real important thing is that you spray as needed hitting the chest plate and also spraying the arms anywhere that you would uh, experience a stretch in the shirt wetting the shirt is going to allow those fibers to stretch more readily for you so something that i do each set as needed here second set already there's going to be a total of five sets during this whole break-in session here you can see i'm already out to about middle finger almost so I'm getting around the grip after just one bench. I'm getting that grip I want to be at. Doing triples here. And this is something that I would recommend highly for breaking in a shirt. Is do reps. Just allows that shirt more time to stretch and to pull that weight down a little bit further each time. See getting a bit heavier here now. I'm able to finally assume the grip that I'd like to have. So I'm now at a competition grip. Single ply will break in a lot quicker for you than a multi ply shirt. And you can see here I'm getting some touches to the board. I'm actually touching the board now. And just three sets in, I'd probably be able to uh, get weight to touch. That's how quick a single ply shirt can break in for you. You really need to dial in that chest plate sizing. You need it really tight at the beginning because these shirts will stretch. Hence, why there's a break in process. And you can see here no problem now really getting down to the board and you're gonna see on this last set coming up how quick this weight will come down. So you have to be very careful when breaking in a single ply shirt that you get it tight enough and that you don't overstretch it. You're not gonna get a ton of sessions out of a single ply shirt if you're really trying to reserve that pop. You can see here I'm pretty much getting the grip I need on my own and you'll see this bar comes down quick to the board but that's really the key for breaking in a shirt is bring your grip out slowly and work down the board slowly and have patience now to recap you're going to need patience that's the number one thing you're not going to be able to get down in the shirt very quickly or right, you're going to have to have that patience to allow the material to stretch for you you're going to work your grip out each set you're going to work the bar lower each set, spray the shirt as needed. All right, You don't need to spray it every set unless it's a very aggressive break-in, but I would definitely start by spraying the shirt just so it is wet, that it can stretch, and it also preserves the life of your shirt because you don't want to have a lot of tearing, which you'll normally get in the break-in process. Making sure the material is wet is going to help with that. And then you're going to want to perform reps. All right, this is going to be more effective than just doing singles each time. And then I want to show you this graphic. This is a very general break-in process. All right, This is a five-week break-in process. Now, um, single ply is probably going to happen a little bit more quickly than this. And it also depends on uh, what tightness of a shirt you have. All right, So if you have a very, very tight shirt, it's going to take a little bit longer. If you have a fairly loose shirt but it's new um, it's not going to take very long to get that shirt to a place where you can touch it so again this is a very general um, template to follow when breaking in a bench shirt 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe to the channel over here. You can check out a video related on the topic over here. And then you can check out our most recent video down below. And then in the description box down below, you can also find links for our membership plan and our online coaching program.